Hey guys, welcome back to my second plan with me for today. We are going to be planning in my Clever Fox Planner. For those of you guys that don't know, Clever Fox Planner is a company that sells planners, bullet journals, um, what else? Oh, weekly planners, daily planners, monthly planners. And they have a lot of new colors out now, so you guys should definitely go check them out. I do have a coupon code with them and a link um, down below that you guys can click on. So that you, if you guys are interested in checking out these planners, then definitely do so. I'll leave all that information down below. But let's go ahead and get started. As I did with my Prima planner, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the spring theme. So I pulled out this um, sticker book that I have. This one is from Walmart, and I love it. I think it's so pretty, and all the colors are fun. So that's I'm going to be using this one. And then I also pulled out my Happy Planner sticker book. I pulled out this one right here. Um, it doesn't have a name. It just says stickers. Um, it's by my, me and my big ideas. Three sixty five from the Happy Planner. So it doesn't have a title, but I pulled this one out in case I'm going to use it as well. And then I also pulled out this washi right here. This is washi. is really cute. It's from the Ula La um, collection, and I really love it. So I think it does go nicely with the color combination. So I think I'm going to use this one. I had pulled out this one, but I think this would be a better match. So I love using washi, and that's what we're going to go ahead and start with. All right. So as usual, I put washi up top. Ooh, that rolled out really quick. So as usual, um, I'm going to put my washi up top. Trying to get as close as I can to the edge. Now, because this is thicker washi, it does go over. Hmm. Oof. Jeez. It's like very stuck on there. Alright. So, I think I'm going to use it right here. So, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Isn't that a pretty color combination? And then I'm going to do this one. All right. Look at how cute that is. Okay, so then I'm going to do the usual washi right here. And since it's not really thin, do I have one? No. Or should I use the bright pink? Oh, sorry guys, I keep switching my washi. And I'm running it. So I'm going to use this really bright um, pink one. And that one is from my little washi set. I like to use this one because it's like the perfect fit. It fits like really, really good with the, with the little, um, with the little blocks. <laughs> So figuring out a spread for this week was kind of easy because I just went based off of like a spring theme and then I had to double check to make sure when St. Patrick's was because I also have to do my St. Patrick's theme like I usually do every year. I like to do holiday themes and my daughter told me it was next week so now I have spreads for next week as well. It's too bad they don't have like a lot of St. Patrick's Day stickers. I think they should make more <laughs> because it is a fun holiday. Look at how cute that looks. And I know a lot of people ask me like, well, why do you cover that up? What's the point of using the planner? And 
my response is just I love to use color and I love the layout of this planner and I love how big it is so that's why I'm using it because I love the planner itself <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and cut right there. All right, isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I love that. All right, so, and then up top, up top I think I'm just going to go ahead and continue with this turquoise. And then that way the washi right here can be my my statement piece should I say right look at how cute that looks I know I had the planner here but because it's big I had to have it close to me alright so now that we have that I'm gonna go ahead and add my date covers and I think I'm actually going to use this little set right here. Or should I use yellow? Ooh, maybe, maybe I should just make it colorful and use yellow. Why not? I'll use the soft yellow so that it's not so out there. Sounds like there's, sounds like, sounds like there's people outside. It looks nice outside. I'm not sure what the weather is like, but. Oh, I'm like, wait, how come this looks weird? Because I always put it up here. I think Sarah has the best date covers. We love these. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. Okay, so we got Sunday. We got Saturday. We got Friday. Oh, shaky. Wednesday. And then we got Thursday. Right? That looks cute. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to start with these stickers first, and then whatever I want to use from there, then I'll continue it on. But these stickers are really cute. And since my date, since this is still March, uh, since this is still February, and this is already March, I think I'm going to go ahead and also label this March, just so that I know this is where March continues. I'm just going to put that right there, use some more alpha stickers. And I like that it has the grid dot, the gridded dots because it helps me stay in, in line. So it shouldn't come out too crooked. I think I'm going to use this blue. And then I'm going to use the green H. Right? Oh, look at how cute that looks. Love it. And that's definitely a great way to use your alpha letters. You know, a lot of us have alpha letters. This one says be brilliant. And I'm actually going to put this one. Uh, let's see. Put it right there. I usually cover this up, but I think I'm going to leave it. Unless I feel like it's throwing me off. Alright, this one's good. This one says to do. I'm going to put this one right here. Look at how cute that is. This one says make it happen. This one says um, urgent. This is a good one, Urgent, because that means this is where I can put like things that I have to get done this week. And then this one says remember. 
I like that. These are so cute. And that's mainly why I wanted to use them. All right. Oh, it has a little, it has a little march right there. I didn't even notice that. And then it has like these cute little like washi strips. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use one. This one says it's a plan, and I think I'm going to put this one up here. That's also a nice way to use, like, washi strips. And then, let's see. This one says important, and I'm actually just going to put this one right here. All right, and then of course I like using um, like quote stickers. This one says beautiful and I'm just gonna put it right here. And this one says shine on, so cute. The shine on right there. And this one says happy. Oh, I just broke it. Oh, it has flowers. I pulled out this one mostly because the happy planner one because it has flowers. But this one has flowers too. Oh, please don't rip, please don't rip. I put that right here in the bottom corner. And da -da -da -da. What else? What else? What else? I'm gonna put this one in this bottom corner. So I put that right there. And then there's this one. And I think I'm gonna put it right there. And then this one says dream, so I feel like I should put a quote here. Um, so I think I'm just going to put it right here. And let me see if there's anything else that I want to use. I think I'm just about done. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then look, I still have a lot to use for another, a whole nother spread. I think that's it, guys, for my spread. I love it. I think it's very fun and bold and colorful. And I just love that it's Groom Spring. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Ellie underscore Plan With Me. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.